things are going to get worse because, unbelievably, the Liberals are now hell-bent on privatising Australia's visa and citizenship processing system. There is a $1 billion tender out right now. The tenders are with the government, which would see thousands of jobs cut from home affairs and for-profit contracts given to Liberal mates. If there's one thing that should be done by public servants, surely it's the assessment and the processing of visa and citizenship applications, people who come to our country. Who can stay? Extremely private information. Now, the government will tell us solemnly that we have to privatise it as it will deliver better service at a lower cost. It's absolutely true we need better service. The Department of Home Affairs is a complete mess. It's a broken department. The most common problem every day in my electorate, and I know the member for Corwell's electorate because we've spoken about it, is people frustrated, crying for help with the visa system or their citizenship application. The government has cut so many staff and so much funding over the last few years, they cut $180 million in 2016-17 budget, that the system's in crisis. The backlog of visas grow, and there are now over 200,000 people in Australia just hanging out on bridging visas. Their lives are in limbo. They're on bridging visas because they're desperately waiting for years for their partner visas to be processed, business visas, student visas, even now dependent child visas. I have Australian citizens who come into my office who have fallen in love and got married overseas and had kids for a few years. They come back and their kids are sitting at home on the couch now for a year playing Xbox because they're literally too terrified to leave the house. They can't start school in a public school until they have their permanent resident visa or they have to pay astronomical fees. They can't afford the medical insurance and they're not covered by Medicare, so literally the kids are playing Xbox waiting for their visa to be processed. Now, this approach is straight out of the conservative failed playbook overseas. It goes like this. We've seen this movie. First, they cut the services to create a crisis. Then they tell us the only answer is privatisation. And this is my prediction. The private operator soon, a government mate, will introduce two fee scales, higher fees for premium services that rich people can pay and other fees for most Australians, like people in my electorate, who will be told by the Liberals just to suck it up and wait. Then, second, over time, once the capability of the public sector has been destroyed, just like has happened in the UK, prices then rise by the tenderers. The successful tenderer establishes a monopoly. It will be hard to the point of impossible for anyone to compete. And then there will be upfront costs for government to later insource the function, like has happened in the UK. The taxpayer gets royally screwed for decades. And third, the private operators donate generously to the Liberal Party. The evidence for this is right out there in public in the tender documents. It was reported that in industry briefings for the tenderers, the departed noted the potential for offsetting the cost of building a new online platform by providing premium services. Now that's public service speak for a two-class system based on how much people are going to cough up for their visa. A private operator will chase more profits through higher visa service fees. This undermines the integrity of the program and creates a two-class system which Australians should roundly reject. It's un-Australian. Just have a look at Britain, at what a mess the mass privatisation of core public services has been. It's higher costs, it's worse services. Then there's the contractors who go broke and are bailed out by the taxpayer to the tune of billions because they're too big to fail. That happens, the Carillion disaster. The government has to abandon its plans to privatise visa and citizenship processing, and in particular, abandon their plan to privatise it to Scott Briggs, a close Liberal Party mate of the Prime Minister's.